welcome to breezy Atlantic City, the northeast counterpart to Las Vegas. As you know, Atlantic City is known for its beaches, its casinos, and its entertainment. In fact, just last night, a new Miss America was crowned right down there at Boardwalk Hall. And of course, Eat is on the scene to bring you yet another exciting art event. the mastermind herself, who is also the 2011 Unique Art Award winner, Miss Tracy Lee Stum. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, thank you so much for being with us today and taking a break from your work. Thank you. No, it's my pleasure. Happy to be here. As I, I look behind me at all the art going on, it's amazing. It's truly breathtaking and mind-boggling. Great. That's, so, that's the reaction we want that's from people. The point. <laughs> so tell me all about how this came to be and how you came to be the curator. Well, this has been a project that's been about two years in the making, and originally the Atlantic City Alliance, which is a terrific organization here in Atlantic City, they promote uh, public art and public art events, uh, came to me and asked me if I'd want to do a large project, uh, potentially a Guinness World Record project, at Boardwalk Hall. And I said, that sounds great, let's start planning. So we got into the initial planning phases of that and realized that the schedule at Boardwalk Hall was not going to accommodate our needs for that. So the project kind of morphed and changed and we wound up with a traditional street painting um, format, except uh, we decided to open it up to 3D art specifically. So it's a 3D street art uh, festival and um, you know, I just kind of naturally went in from project management in my own business, in my own street painting career, to um, how to make this festival be supportive for the community and for the artists involved. And how did you choose these specific 14 artists? Well, we um, decided that we wanted to invite a, a, a team of artists, uh, 14 artists, like you said, from around the world. First, initially, it was going to be U.S.-based, and then we thought, well, let's open it up to a global um, uh, pool of artists. And I sent out uh, preliminary invitations to people that I knew were uh, actively practicing three-dimensional artwork. And um, certainly there's new young artists coming up. I, I call them fourth generation street painters. <laughs> and I wanted to include some of the new talent that is, is uh, really kind of making a name for themselves now on the internet and in the street painting world. So just sent out invitations and certainly we wanted a variety of styles and uh, approaches. And here we are, we've got an amazing um, setup of, of different types of 3D art. Tell us about your own piece, the Monopoly board that I saw, which is wonderful. The Monopoly game is an homage piece to Atlantic City. Um, I had several ideas that I wanted to develop for this event, and um, actually this one popped in as the strongest possibility the day before. <laughs> so I um, uh, decided that it would be an interactive game board, and it's uh, really about the history of Atlantic City. You know, it's, it's, it represents Atlantic City. And uh, certainly there's a lot of gaming here, but of a different type. And this goes back to the roots of Atlantic City. So uh, it's just a natural piece. All the locals love it. You know, they're coming by going, of course you're doing it, you know, a Monopoly game. But um, we're actually going to have interactive dice and uh, icons so people can look like they're playing the game. 